we'll be talking about weapons of our warfare part three earlier on we took time to tell you you cannot use weapons until you become a soldier of jesus christ and that the weapons are meant to advance the kingdom of god that was what we took time to explain the last two sundays and then today we want to be looking at least few of the weapons even though it's two or three we're able to look at in second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 4 he says second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 4 remember the message weapons of our warfare part three for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds that is our weapons are not like carnal weapons they are not like worldly weapons we can put our weapon to work even when they are not physical things you see that's what he's saying that the bible says in job chapter 6 and verse 25 he said how forcible are right words for a man is fighting the kingdom of god you will say how forcible how powerful are weapons of war are right weapons there are right weapons for particular purposes how forcible how how powerful are right words right weapons can also use, be used in place of that words how powerful are right words now let's look at the weapon of angels can i hear you say angels can i hear you say angels many don't talk so much about angels but i have god has taught me a lot of things about angels and i enjoy the administration a lot the bible angels are ministering spirit designed to minister to the saints they are ministering spirit that's what the bible calls angels ministering spirit and they are designed to minister to the saints you and i angels are designed to minister to us in hebrew chapter 1 verse 13 hebrews chapter 1 verse 13 he said but to which of the angels said he at any time see to my right hand until i make thee thy enemies thy footstool then in verse 14 see talking about this angel he said can you read it for me want to go are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation can i hear you say i am a heir of salvation now as a heir of salvation you are the saints of god the bible says angels are sent forth to minister to you they are ministry spirit sent forth to minister to you many don't talk about angels and yet they are very very powerful and they are sent to minister to our needs you know when the lord first called me one of the experiences i had was an angel i've had a lot of visitation of angels in one instance the angel appeared to me he told me follow me and i'm taking you to jesus and i followed the angel to jesus as soon as we got to jesus the real man jesus was wearing my change to that real man. it was like we are wearing uniform like this point zoe singer they are wear we are now wearing the same uniform i was wearing the same uniform with jesus and then in that revelation jesus gave me bible he just put it in my hands he said go and preach my word whatsoever you do in my name i have done follow me I started following him in a twinkle of an eye we went through a lot of mountainous mountains and we just kept going kept, kept going kept going kept going that's why today each time i'm going on crusade and i remind i will always remember that revelation how that i was following jesus everywhere everywhere and that's why it doesn't trouble me it doesn't matter what you say is on the highway what is not on the highway i say i am following jesus i am following jesus i am following jesus can i hear you say i am following jesus do you believe if you follow Jesus, you are safe? That's why you don't fear. It's because those that love me, they fear, they come that they experience their fear. And say, so, oh, he has traveled again. Where are you now? Have you reached Lakoja? Have you reached Abuja? Have you reached? I say, I'm reaching everywhere. The Lord being on my side because I'm following Jesus. May you keep following Jesus in Jesus' name. At another instance, I saw an angel. He took a staff of office, a big staff, put it inside fire boy the, it was very red hot he gave it to me say hold it i said so hot say hold it and i grabbed the staff he said that's your staff of office he really equipped me and one of the instruments they used in equipping me we are the visitation of angels visitation of angels i always tell you the one i had when i was driving with pastor ayo my two daughters also and Bosa, who were in the same car driving home 
Those days I leave just any time. I think I left just around 10 p.m. that day. I wonder how my wife permits me to be traveling like that. If it's now, I, I will speak in tongue for a long time. We will leave just 10 p.m. with my two daughters. We are driving to Edo State. We are going on the road. We are all singing. Suddenly, my, my, my pastor, my two daughters slept off behind the car. Then my, the pastor will sing a key quiet and also slept off. Then only me that, that cannot sleep. Started singing, singing, only me. Before you know it, I will sing small, I will kick quite small. I will sing small, I kick quite small. Before you know it, I was dreaming of the crusade. That I was on crusade ground. And all of this sudden, I can't forget this all the days of my life. Then I knew. I woke up from the sleep. I was thinking of the, the crusade. Then I saw the light in front of me. I said, what is this light doing here? Before I came to myself that I was driving. Then I grabbed the steering. Then I said, wow, I was driving. I was on cruise. It took me some minutes or seconds to come to myself. Finally, I just parked. I said, what happened? How is it that we didn't have accident? And for the first time in my life, I heard the voice of God. Not actually the first time I heard it before. I heard a, a clear voice saying to me, I sent my angels to drive you. Come on, hallelujah. Jab your heart together. I'm excited. I can't forget it. He said, I sent my angels to do what? To drive you. That was how we didn't get accident. Any of you have seen angels ministering to you? We're in church here one day on a prophetic service. And a young lady said, she saw an angel came to her and said, this is your admission letter. And truly, within one or two weeks, Admission letter from University of Jones came to her hand because an angel visited her. And you know the Bible says in Hebrew 13 verse 5, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Can I tell you, can you tell somebody he's following you? Everybody say, hello my angel. When I know he's following me and the Bible says he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. He will never leave me. He will never forsake me. That's why I go freely. That's why I move around freely. Are you hearing me? That's why I can afford to drive myself anywhere. I just move around. There is somebody with me. One angel killed, slaughtered 185,000 people. One. That one with me can kill 185,000 people. Are you hearing me? That's what the Bible says. Second Chronicles chapter 19 and verse 35. I think it's somewhere there. One angel. Praise God. That is the power. That is the weapon God is using to arrest the devil out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. That is powerful so knowing these that angels are weapons god uses to do great work then we can pray in isaiah 45 verse 11 he said consign the work of my hands angels are the work of his hand he said command ye me ask me to use them he said, Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his maker, ask me of things to come concerning my son and concerning the work of my hands. Concerning the work of the work of my hand, command ye me. Make a demand on the works of my hand. Angels are the work of his hand. Praise the name of the Lord. And I hear you say, we're going to be doing warfare right now. Is that clear? But you need to, you know, I taught you a lot of things. I said, uh, since the teaching, I have not seen you behaving like soldiers. Since the teaching and that you are soldiers, I expect that by 8 a.m., anybody that will come to church is already in church. And I hear you say soldiers. 8 a.m., whoever will be in church is already in church. That is soldier. But if you still continue the same way, after all the teaching that you are soldiers, you are still behaving like civilians, how will you see God at work? This is the challenge. God wants to do so much. 
but he's seeing people on, who are not willing, who are not prepared to play their role. In the army or paramilitary, um, they can't say all oh, soldiers line up by 7.30 in the morning. And then after they've all lined up, you bring your gun and run to come and line up. You will sleep in the garden. Room. And then we told you to put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. And I taught you all of those things. Put on truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Put on the gospel of peace. Can I hear you say, I put on the belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. The gospel of peace. I put on faith. The helmet of salvation. The word of God prayers say i put them on now in the name of jesus or oh, you yeah, just pray that like that i put on the whole armor of god just say it in the spirit i put on if you don't know how to say it, just speak a tongue on that i put on the whole armor of god i put on the whole armor of god i put on the whole armor of god thank you father in jesus name we pray raise up your right hand say father release angels meant to minister to my knees in the name of jesus oh yeah now pray that prayer father release angels that are meant to minister to my knees in jesus name release angels release angels anything you pray now god will do it any angel that is meant to minister to my knees father let them be released if you keep quiet you are closing your destiny if you keep quiet, you are hindering yourself from what God wants to do in your life. We are not joking here. Release angels that are meant to minister to my knees. To minister to my knees. In Jesus' name we pray. In Matthew chapter 4 and verse 11. Matthew 4 verse 11. Then the devil liveth him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Who is this Bible referring to? Huh? If Jesus needed angels to minister to him, what of you? Don't you think you need them more? You need them. That's why you are praying that prayer. Release angels that will minister to my knees. Jesus himself, when he was on earth as the son of man, angels came and ministered unto him in mark chapter 1 and verse 13 mark chapter 1 and verse 13 and the bible says and he was there in the wilderness 40 days tempted of satan and was with the white beast and the angels ministered unto him angels ministered to jesus from today if you have prayed that prayer, that is the prayer I prayed. I spent the whole of yesterday and today and last night praying that if you can pray the prayer I pray with you, go, we do what you ask him in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, angels will be ministering unto you. If Christ needed angels to minister to him, you need angels more. I need angels more. That's the one she gave that testimony. I said, yes. Right from the time God called me, I've always had visitation of angels, visitation of angels, ministry to my need, going on assignment, protecting and preserving. That is the only way you can survive in the times we are living. When you are confident that angels are ministering to you. If Christ, when I read here, if Christ needed angels to minister to him, then we need it more. Praise God. I say praise God. The Bible told us in Genesis 19 verse 1 and Genesis 19 verse 1 and verse 13. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. And Lord sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lord seeing them rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. Oh, we know that story. Two angels came and met Lord. And as they were standing to meet Lord, some men came. They said they want to sleep with angels. Hey, they want to have homosexuals with two angels who appear as human beings. The man was begging them, I have daughter Virgin here, why not? And they say no. 
And when they were all doing that, the angels took offense. Hallelujah. Look at what verse 13, what the angels did in verse 13. For we will destroy this place that the angels are now talking. We will destroy this place because the crowd of them is was great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord has sent us to destroy it. God sent angels to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. They were cities. And how many angels were sent to destroy cities? Two. Only two angels to destroy cities. And you are here afraid of nonsense. All it takes, just two angels. Will we destroy this place? The cry of them is was it great before the face of the Lord. And that is why God will release ministry angel to destroy every Sodom and Gomorrah in your life. Sodom and Gomorrah are those people, heartless people, heartless people who want you dead, who are even ready to kill your angel if, if they have the opportunity. That is Sodom and Gomorrah. Are you hearing me? They are heartless people that are ready to kill you, not just kill you, even the angel guiding you. Because they saw them like human beings, they think they can kill them. You want to kill God? <laughs> Praise God. Say, Father, release ministry spirit to destroy every Sodom and Gomorrah after my life, after my family, in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer fervently where you are sitting. This, uh, this program is warfare. We shall pray like this until we finish. Release ministry spirit Lakata to destroy the Sodom and Gomorrahs of my life. Those who are posing like Sodom and Gomorrah, let them die the death of the wicked. Nekuta Pandila to Pandarani, Rakuziata, Ikuza Talarani, Meseto Lebrani Karada, Yekozi Dabrani, Le Credusa Cabranehani, Le Deleboshe Kebranegra, Le Sekerebrashira. In Jesus' name we pray. In verse 24 and 25, the same scripture, Genesis 19, 24 and 25. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. He rained brimstone and fire. And he overthrew those cities. Can I hear you say cities? Just two angels came. The Lord rained that brimstone and fire. He overthrew cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities. And that we grew upon the ground. Can I hear you say let your angels use brimstone and fire to hasty the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah out of our time, out of our lives. Come and pray that prayer. Let God release brimstone and fire. Let the angels of God release brimstone and fire. Brimstone and fire to hasty the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah of our time. There are Sodom and Gomorrah of our time. Father, release brimstone, release fire to destroy every Sodom and Gomorrah of our, of our time. In the Rabashato Lebranigrani, in Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your right hand and say, I call them destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, wherever you are, be part of the prayer. This is a different style of presenting message. Is that clear? We are doing warfare. Can I hear you say warfare? In Matthew 26 and verse 53. Matthew 26 and verse 53. Tickest thou that I cannot now pray to my father. This is Jesus talking. And he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Jesus was arrested. One of his servants caught the ears of one of those that arrested him. He took the ear and put it back. And said, if I want to fight back, I can release 12 legions of angels. One legion is about 6,000 angels. So legion, 12 legion will be 6 times 12. And that is 72,000 angels that, we are, that Christ said he can release them from heaven. Hallelujah. And one angel can kill one, one, 185,000. So he said, if I want to release them, I will release them because it's my time to die. Hope you know it's not your time to die. Can I hear you say, it is not my time to die. Therefore, let... <laughs> are you hearing me? Are you, are you saying what I'm saying? Say, it is not my time to die. Therefore, Father, let your angels smite all those after my lives. 
smite them with blindness in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. La catalarabo. All those that are out of life, let the angels of heaven smite them with blindness, smite them with blindness, smite them with blindness, smite them with blindness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. I command them smitten with blindness in Jesus' name. We have so many instances like that where God has to smite people with blindness. Even the way we read before in Genesis 19. Look at verse 11. When those people wanted to do nonsense, the Bible says, those two angels, they smote the men. Can you read it there? Genesis 19 verse 11. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with what? Blindness. The angels smote them with blindness. Both small and great. We mean they came so many. They smite them with blindness so that they wearied themselves to find the door. They were groping, looking for how to get the door. Is still happening in our time. Say amen. In Second Corinthians, I mean Second Kings chapter six and verse eighteen. Second Kings chapter six and verse eighteen. I'm telling you that God is not partial. If He did it for this people, He's doing it for us as well. And when they came down to Him, Elijah prayed unto the Lord and said, "Smite these people, I pray thee, with I pray thee with blindness." Elijah says, smite them with blindness. And he smote them with blindness. According to the words of Elijah. Brethren, the Bible says, at the end of age, the devil will be very fierce, but God will raise a standard against him. Are you hearing me? A standard against him. We, get a we had a testimony that day, how a man was kidnapped. We prayed here. We asked blindness to, and confusion in the account. Within four or five hours, he was released. Five days ago, some kidnapper went to my village and kidnapped an 11 years old boy. And I didn't know until uh, day first, two, two days ago. I called one of my friends and said, What is happening? He said they just kidnapped somebody for the past two days. I said within three days he'll be released. I started using all this weapon against them. And yesterday morning, the young boy was released. No ransom was paid. No ransom. They just told police in Benin and they put themselves together. Before you know it, the number, they don't even know how to kidnap very well. <laughs> The number they gave, they trace it, trace it, trace it. Before you know it, they saw police, they started shooting, police started shooting. As they were exchanging gun, they ran into the bush. Some of them got gun shot. As they ran into the bush, they left the boy on hot. Uh, police carried the boy and put him behind. And they started shooting. Those were in the bush. They now they are still looking for them in the bush. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We release the weapons. Weapons will work for you. I say the weapons will work for you. You are unkillable, you are indestructible. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is the same God these people serve, we are serving you. Hope you know it's the same God. Has it changed? It has not changed. Elisha smote them with blindness. And blindness came upon every one of them. I think about 120 of them. They became blind immediately. I love if you doubt it, we can even command some people to be blind here now. They know we'll see you again for some time. After, I'll say, open, make your eye open again. So that in case you are doubting. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. That's why they were doubting one day. One day I had a dream. I was praying my dream. I saw God telling me, tell them to, to sleep. Then when I pray in the dream, the, person, the people slept off in the dream. When I woke up, he said, that thing you saw in your dream, it can happen in the physical. I said, okay, let me try the next crusade. I went to crusade. And as I was praying, I said, how many of you are suffering from insomnia? They raised up their hands. I said, yeah, come here. You will sleep now. I said, God, you are the one that showed me in the revelation no, that people were sleeping. Make this one sleep. Let them know that I heard from you. I said, before I know, I boasted in the name of the Lord. As I pray now, you will sleep. We were in, uh, before you know it, march up. I said, I command you to sleep. Now, in the name of Jesus. Boom, they slept off. The person interpreted for me told me later, he said, that is the greatest miracle he has ever seen in his life. 
that you with all these speaker everything people can sleep even when they rose them up they, they were they were they were still feeling sleeping we went to a boy you said the same thing we started going several places when i want to when i see people are doubting doubting oh yeah those who cannot sleep i can't even do it right now come here let me pray for you to sleep even there was a day i demonstrated it are you hear what i'm saying god can do anything i see god doing mighty things for you in the name of jesus christ the angel smote there with blindness raise up your hands every enemy of my soul be smitten with blindness see me no more say preach say it fiercely even though you are sitting down say it fiercely say it intensively say it as if you mean it let them be smitten with blindness agent of satan after your life after your mother after your wife after your children your own faith may be strong enough your children's faith may not be strong enough i release it in jesus name we pray that weapon is being used by angels are you hearing me where paul was shouting the bible see was he was spitting fire against the church he called them threw them into prison did all kinds of wickedness and was just very very wicked and callous before you know a bright light came on him so so why persecuted thou me he said lord who art thou i'm jesus whom thou persecute before you know it in verse 9 i mean chapter 9 verse 8 and 9 the bible told us the boy the man could not see again go send it they smote him with blindness Acts chapter 9 verse verse 9 verse 8 and 9 i think that's where it is and Saul arose from the earth and when his eyes were open he saw no man but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. All those chuku I mean, I mean, I'm a wicked person. I am a, a bandit. I am the Hey, take it. Everybody said, take it. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Say, take blindness. You enemy of my soul. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Shout a loud amen. amen. The Bible says in verse 9, and he was three days without sight, and neither did eat nor drink. Three days he was blind. That was why he knew what blindness can do. <laughs> Are you hearing me? So the same Paul in Acts chapter 13, when he saw himself was blind for three days, no food, no nothing. He the teach showed him lesson. In Acts chapter 13, if you read from verse 11, I read 10 and 11. And now, this is the same, the same Paul talking now. He said, And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you. Thou shalt be blind, nor see the sun for a season, say for a while. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. He remembered how himself was persecuting the church, standing against the church. Then here was a man called Bar Jesus, who was also standing against what Paul was preaching. He was against it, taking the man away from things of God. He said, I have done this thing you are doing. I have done it. I, I was against God. I was really put to prison. You, you are just using witchcraft to do this. And the way God punished me was he gave me three days blindness. After that, I learned my lesson. I know that God is God. You too. I didn't say be blind forever. Be blind for a season. I was say for a season. And immediately, blindness entered his eyes. There are people in your life that will be blind for a season. Are you hearing me? Say, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. Whoever plans to touch you, take blindness for a season in the name of Jesus. You say, love your enemy. Hey, that is the way I love my enemy now. I didn't say they should be blind forever. For a season. So far, I can find my way. 
out. Are you hearing me? Uh, but there are those who will get in forever. Those who will never repent. That's why Jesus said, repent or perish. Those who will not repent, we perish. Please, let's get it clear because some, when we start teaching love next month now, you say, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, please combine scripture with scripture before you say, but, 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 but. <laughs> hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. Brethren, angels are powerful, powerful instruments, powerful weapons in the hands of a child of God who put on the whole armor of God, who recognizes himself as a soldier of Christ, who is standing strong in the things of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Angels are very powerful. We will learn so many other weapons by next week again. I thought we can go to them. But let's round up on this. Praise God. I say praise God. The Bible says in Matthew 26 and verse 53, okay, we, we read that before, in Hebrew, Hebrew, chapter 12 and verse 22. But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to an innumerable company of angels. Angels uncountable. That is where, when you come to the church, the body of Christ, you have come to where innumerable company of angels are at work. Are you hearing me? In 1993, God said to me, anytime you are doing a crusade, I will release my angels upon that crusade. You don't need to be laying hands on anybody because there will be too many for you to lay hands upon. As you are praying, the angels will be touching them and that miracle will be happening. I can't forget that. From 1993, that's what I tell. Anywhere I preach, I say, excuse me, there are angels at work here. And you see them touching you just now, and miracles will be happening to you. Praise God. He said, we have come to an innumerable company of angels. In their legions, they can arise to fight our enemies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, let your innumerable company of angels in their legions arise to fight our enemies in my life in church of eternal life in in nigeria in the name of jesus oh you pray that prayer let your innumerable company of angels arise let your innumerable company of angels arise let your innumerable company of angels arise to fight our enemies Reketo pashata la radada, iku ziata la do serebani, iku laka sata nekendo bania, yeke zeto lebrani, ikro zila radada bo, yeke zoto pranda rabosia, iku zata la do prane grane, reke jelebo, yikanda nika, iku narade, rekenda la bo, sheke brane grane, iko seto le prane rate, neku zata la radane, Cose le branira, reconda rababasani, recrate branegrani, recusi alla ikusante, meke zoto brate lembranegrani. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Innumerable company of angels. We guide your home. We guide your place of job. You had the testimony. You went, they went to Oma. The door they locked, they found that the door was open. Ah, what's happening? They start looking at hey, the first thing, television is gone. Uh, our money, money is gone. Hey, in any one, that's the only house I understand. <laughs> what is this? Mana. Then we started praying. And today, those things have been arrested. Every enemy of your soul shall be arrested. But what we are even saying, you know, the kind of testimony we like in this church, it will not, the evil will not even happen. Everybody say, it will not even happen. Hope you prefer that one. You just go freely. It will not even happen. Always on the road, you are always saved. You only hear, but it doesn't, it's not part of you. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. I say, receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. That was the major prayer my mother prayed for me. Said the day you're on the road, evil shall not be on the road. And I kept praying that prayer for you as a church. Are you hearing me? 
receive, always believe it. Anywhere you go, you say that even if you leave George, you go wherever. Say, my pastor in George used to tell me that if they, if we is on the road, me will not be on the road. So shall it be forever. Psalm 121 verse 8, in Jesus' mighty name. I say in Jesus' name. I say in Jesus' name. Praise God. Say, Father, send your, send your angels to guide me in all my journeys of life in the name of Jesus. Did you hear that? Listen, before you pray that prayer, in Genesis 24 and verse 7, Abraham sent his son, I mean his servant, to go and get a wife for his son. He said, an angel, my angel will guide you. I think it's written there. The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house, this is Abraham talking, and from the land of my children, and which spake unto me, and that swore unto me, saying, Unto thy seed will I give this land. He shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. He said, He shall send his angel to guide you. And the angel guided that servant. Are you hearing me? If you read verse 40 of that same scripture, Genesis 24, verse 40. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee and prosper thy way. When God sends angels to follow you, he will prosper your way. From today, angel will prosper your way. Angel will guide you. He will tell you what to do at every point in time in the name of Jesus Christ. God can do all manner of things. When the Holy Spirit is working on you, one of the weapons he uses is the angels of God. Are you hearing me? Angels submit themselves to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And so they can, he can send them to be guiding you. If angels guide you to take a wife, beautiful. Guide you to have a husband, the right person, beautiful. But when there is no angelic guidance, no Holy Ghost guidance, Holy Ghost is leading you, but he uses instruments to do it. He uses weapons. Are you hearing me? Say from today, Send your angels, Lord, to guide me in all my ways. Oh, yeah, pray that prayer. I like that is the way God put that message in my heart. As you say it, you pray it. You pray. I would have asked you to start throughout, but you will be complaining. Let your angel guide me. Let your angel guide me in the name of the Lord in all my journeys of life. Let your angel guide me. Let your angel guide me. Rakarabo Sekebrani Rani. In Jesus' name we pray. In Psalm 34 and verse 7. Psalm 34 and verse 7. Can you read it? Want to go. The angel of the Lord a carpet ran about them that fear him. And what did they do to them? They delivered them. The angel of the Lord a carpet ran about you that fear God, that they, to fear God is to depart from evil. You are serving God where the angel of God is on about you. And their duty is to deliver you. They will deliver you from kidnappers, killers, and assassins. They will deliver you from bandits and all of these wicked, wicked people. We are living in an insecure environment. It takes a jelly guidance to live a godly and a free life. A life of freedom now. And they will guide you. I say they will guide you. Say, Father, let your angel a compassion about me and to deliver me to deliver me from evil oh yeah pray 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 some of you don't pray at home at all pray it now let your angel deliver me from evil let your angels deliver me from evil as you are praying it so it's happening to you don't keep quiet let the angel of god deliver you from evil don't talk to anybody the angel of the lord deliver us from evil a compassion about us in our journeys of life Rakata Larabo, Yeke Zoto Brani, Yika Zata Lanto Lembrani, Rakarabo Shekebrani, Landa Larabo, Yesakarabo Sokaboni. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. See, talking about angel. In Daniel chapter 6 and verse 22, you see what angels can do. Daniel 6 22, can you read it? My God has sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth 
How many angels can you see there? How many angels? What's the plural of angel? Angels. But here is one. And my gosh has sent his angel and has shut the liar's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before thee, I, O king, have I done no harm, no hurt. Before God, he was innocent. He was serving God well. Before the king who asked them to throw him into the liar's den, he said, O king, I have done no hurt. I didn't hurt you. Why did you throw me into the liar's den? That was why the Lord sent an angel to shut the mouth of lions. Not one lion. Lions. He was thrown so that they will eat him. In fact, they will be dragging his meat. This one will say, Namigo chop the leg. This one Namigo chop the hand. This one Namigo chop the head. This one said, Namigo eat that stomach, big stomach. Let me eat it. Lions. One angel was enough one angel is more than enough if you don't ask for more just say even though now only one only one only one to close the mouth of lions not to hurt you this lion could include all the all the bandits the kinama the killer the the herdsmen the robbers the witches and wizards all of them that are after you they are the lions say father send your angels to close the mouth of lions not to hurt me tell god the lions you are seeing your time tell god there are many lions there are witches and wizards they are your lions every lion satan has set against me against my family please don't you pray for your love alone pray for everybody connected to you close the mouth of the lions close the mouth of those who are after my lives come on open your mouth and pray we will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the world Let's be a praying church. Come on, put your mouth and pray. Close the mouth of lions. Father, let the mouth of lions be closed against me. That they cannot eat me up. The number of my days shall be fulfilled. No devil will kill her before the time. Rakatala Rabo, Yaka Zeto Lembrane Grade, Rakatala Rabo, Yeke Zoto Lembrane Grade Bosheni, Le Grabo Sekebra Cerebrani Grani. In Jesus' name we pray. In Acts chapter 12, if you read verse 7 to 11, Acts chapter 12, verse 7 to 11, the angel of the Lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison. This was Peter. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. I don't know how many of us have been locked by the devil. I see the chain falling. That the choir used to sing a song. He said, I see the chain falling, broken, falling. Every chain over you, the angels of God will break them in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will be chained in your life. Maybe they have chained your children. Maybe they have chained your business. Maybe they have chained your shop. Maybe they have chained anything chained. I release angel to break the chain in the name of Jesus Christ. Peter was locked in prison, chained. The angel went there. This is not Old Testament. In case you are, you are the one that says, okay, that happened in the Old Testament. This is New Testament. This one happened after Jesus has died and went back to heaven. It happened in the time we are living now. This same time. Are you hearing me? So it's not something you say, oh, in, in those days, it is now. It's the same thing. This present time. The God of Old Testament is the God of New Testament. Say amen. He broke the chain. Look at verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guide thyself. I see an angel visiting you this week. I see an angel visiting you this week. He said unto him, Guide yourself, bind on thy saddles. Wear your shoes. So he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Throw this prisoner's garment and throw it away. Follow me. And he went out and followed him. And, and wish none that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. He didn't believe it was true. He said, is this real? Is this, am I dreaming? God will do a miracle that you will be saying, am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? So shall it happen to somebody who shall the big amen in Jesus' name? Hey! 
he didn't believe this was real this was happening raw raw and when they were past the first and the second world they came onto the iron gate that led unto the city which opened to them of his own accord doors will be opened unto you of their own accord did you hear that without sweat this week i see doors opening unto you i see doors opening unto you of their own accord people will call you do you want more job do you want money do you want uh, do you do you do you do you you say yes 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 can i hear you say yes three times yes yes yeah clap your heart to care for jesus doors will open on their own accord when angels are at work that's what happened doors will be opening of their own accord their own they will just open because the angels are well he said and when they were past the third and the second gate they, and all of that what happened the bible says and they went out and passed on through one street and fought with the angel when the angel finished his work he departed from him praise god i said praise god the miracle could so happen that even those who were praying for him to be released when he started knocking at their door they didn't believe Back, 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 back. Who is that? I am Peter. Rhoda. Ah, Rhoda went inside. God has answered our prayer. Stop praying. Stop praying. The angel will say, should go and release him. The angel has gone to release him. Let us stop praying. They say, Rhoda, you are mad. God has answered your prayer. And you say, the person is mad. You are mad. Mad. I know the voice of Peter. He's not the one preaching to us. I know his voice. He's outside. And by the time the open door, behold, the angel have delivered Peter. I see angel delivering you. Delivering your business. Delivering your marriage. Delivering your home. Delivering everything Satan has had in bondage. The chains are broken. I said the chains are broken. The chains are broken. In the name of Jesus. Join your heart together for Jesus. I look at verse 11. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel. Just one angel. Sometimes when I go alone, I'm just going to say, Hey, am I alone? No. Angels of God are with me. The Holy Spirit is in me. Are you hearing me? Jesus is in my spirit. I am born of God. Ha ha. That is the best thing that can ever happen to you. The Lord will keep you and preserve you. A man met me. We prayed together. He said, One baptism of the Holy Spirit. He started speaking in tongues. And after he started speaking in tongues, in the night, one of the nights, somebody came to give him epilepsy. And then he saw fire run about him. He saw Bible. But the Bible turned to fire and was pursuing him. Then he, he ran away, went to their witchcraft cover. I couldn't give him epilepsy. Oh, I saw fire run about him. They said, okay, where will you keep it now? You know, in this kingdom, once to release evil, it must land somewhere. So since you couldn't give him, uh, then you carry him. <laughs> the following morning, he woke up. Brrr, boah, he started foaming from the mouth. He confessed with his own mouth. Nobody prayed for him, and he died. Are you hearing me? Herod, what he killed James. He was happy. He said, "Now let me take the ogre. This Peter he talked too much. Oh yeah, let, jail, jail him. The following day, I will deal with him. But before he knew it, it was too late. Before devil gets you, it will be too late. The angel would have gone ahead of Satan and destroy what the devil planned in the name of Jesus. But not just will he destroy what the devil planned against you. The angel will go back to sender." We go back to the person that planned that. Look at that. And upon his third day, Herod arrayed in royal apparel. I'm reading Acts 12, verse 21. Herod arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne, and made an oration unto them. He's, he, was a, he was an uh, uh, orator. He made an oration. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God, and not of a man. It is the voice of a God, and not of a man. It is the voice of a God, and not of a man. He was claiming the position of God. He said, He's no more a man. He's not a God. What happened? And immediately, the angel, 
Everybody say, the angel of the law. Me, I believe it's that same angel that rescued uh, <laughs> Peter. He said, I'll finish with uh, Peter. Uh, I'll finish with the righteous. Let me now deal with the unrighteous. Immediately, the angel of the law smote him because he gave not God the glory. And he was eating of worms and gave up the ghost. He died. He died. The death he released, he planned to put on Peter, bounce back to sender. So shall it be said of you. Whoever plan your death, the death will bounce back to their head. In the name of Jesus Christ. I must say New Testament. This is not Old Testament too. This is a new one. New one. They plan death for you. Angel will come and rescue you. Then angel will say, okay, you, it is your turn. Hope you know. That is how it works. So. That is how it works. When it doesn't work on you, it will work on your enemy. When they arrested Shadra, Meshach, and Abednego, and they threw them into fire, when the fire did not kill them, all the people that went and arrested them, what happened? The fire slaughtered all of them. Those that threw him in. Hope you know that. When uh, 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 Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, and later, lion did not eat uh, Daniel, what happened to those that conspired against Daniel? Huh? They say, okay, Daniel has tested lion. We want to see your own test. Go in and let's see how you will survive. And they throw them into the lion's den. Both their wife, their children, everything. I believe the first five minutes, the lion we had just say, hey, 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 we threw out the night. We didn't eat any food. Now they have brought plenty of food. Oh. Only one food they brought. We could not eat that one. Now they brought plenty. And before you know it, <sighs> that is how your enemy will be wiped away. I say that is how the enemy of your soul will be wiped away. That is how the enemy of your souls will be wiped away. That is how the enemy of your soul will be wiped away. That is how the enemy of your soul will be wiped away. In the name of Jesus Christ.